Today we're going to talk about <clears throat> how to adjust the settings on a claw machine that you don't have a manual for. So I've been getting a few of these questions and, and I appreciate that. So today we're going to go over that. It shouldn't take very long, but hopefully you have your manual. If you don't, this is, this is what you do. So <clears throat> this right here is a tool for soldering. And basically, if you don't have your manual, if you don't have your manual and you want to change your claw machine from 50 cents to 25 cents or from 25 cents to a dollar, or if you want to change the uh, amount of time that people get to play on the claw machine, or if you want to turn the attraction mode off, or if you want to turn the attraction mode on, <clears throat> you're going to have to get into the settings. And if you don't have a manual, it could be tricky to do, but it's not, it's, it's not impossible. And so <clears throat> what you need to do is access the circuit board. And these right here are the dip switches. So is what sucks. But a way around it is to flip the machine off. So is what, is what you do is you grab your cell phone. So I grab my cell phone and snap a picture. Now, I just took a picture. Let's see. I just took a picture of the circuit board. See that? I can see bank one, bank one, and bank two, and I can see where all the switches are at. Okay, so that's the first thing you do is to take a picture of the dip switches so you know what position they need to be in for the machine to stay where it's at right now. Okay, now you have a picture of that. So it, once you start screwing with these things, you know how to put it back and to get it to at least operate the way it was before you stop, start screwing with things. So then is what you do is you turn off the machine and then you're going to flip the first switch. Then you're going to turn the machine on. And then after it boots up, you're going to coin it up and you're going to play it. And then you're going to find out what that switch did. And then you're going to write it down on a piece of paper. Okay, because there's going to be a change. So let's see what that change was. I'm not going to go through all of them. So now basically what that switch did is if you notice that when I do the coin switch, the number changes, <laughs> but the machine isn't it accepting it as, as a play. Oh, so this one switch changed it from 25 cents to, to $2 or $4. I don't know. I'd have to count that up again to see how many quarters it took to play. But just moving this one switch right here made the machine go from 25 cents to, to I think it was eight times I pushed it. So let's, let's turn it off and try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that move, moving this one switch right here, made the machine go from twenty-five cents to three dollars a play. bad so sad didn't get one. Oh, and it's on 
a win every time. Play till you win. So if I wanted to turn the play till you win off, I'd have to go through each one. So now I'm going to turn this off. And then I'm going to flip this back. And I'm going to verify that the machine now is back to 25 cents. Just through trial and error. So there are 16 dip switches. So it, it could take you a while to go through all 16 of them. But at least you'd know what they did and you'd only have to do it once. So now that I got the machine where it's at. Yep. Now the machine's back to 25 cents. So I've also verified that this section of the board deals with the money. So if I start moving this one, I'm you know if I start going from from the you know pretty much this bank two from one through four are probably all going to have to do with changing the amount of money the it is per play. So just doing that one test. I, you know, I was able to figure that out and I would have to go through them all to figure out what, you know, changed in it from 25 cents to 50 cents or 25 cents to a buck, but you get the point. So anyways, uh, I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions or comments, post them in the, in the comments below. Uh, I really want to know what things you want me to do videos about. So please put that in the comments below. And of course, please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.